So today I've got the brand new 2013 Hoyt Spider. This is the uh, 30 inch version and it's got a couple neat features that I'll show you here and I'll let you see what you think about this bow and give you a quick review over it. New cool features that's going to stand out big in this bow is their air shock system here which actually pulls away from the bow as you draw it back and uh, it makes the limb not have to carry the load of that and, and uh, so it's a really new unique system. Now for some people who aren't going to like it or don't want to use it, they're actually going to be able to remove it with just an allen wrench screw. So if you don't want it there, you can get rid of it and actually make the bow that much lighter. The cam on this bow is also a little bit different shape. It's still an RKT cam, but uh, it's a little rounded out here. And it may just be me and my initial perception of the bow, but it does seem to draw a little bit smoother, which is definitely a plus. This bow comes in weighing only at 3.8 pounds. They've got some unique cutouts in the riser that you can see here. Uh, so that's going to be really, really nice, especially for the guys that do a lot of hiking. And uh, like I said before, you can take out these air shock systems and actually probably lose a little bit more weight. And I don't think the bow's gonna be much louder without those anyway. So I'll have to try that down the road. This bow's coming stock with the wood grip, which in my opinion is a big improvement over the rubber grip. The rubber grip that they had looked nice, but I think everybody, you know, for the most part is gonna enjoy the wood grip quite a bit more. So besides all the cool new features that you can actually see, one of my favorite things is, is a bow that tunes up really, really well. And, uh, you know, sometimes with the Hoyt line, I've had to do a little yoke tuning and those types of things to get it to shoot how I want it. But with this particular bow, set of 29 pounds, or I'm sorry, 29 inches, 70 pounds, I grabbed an Axis 340, walked over to the paper tuner. I had the rest set center shot and almost perpendicular with the string, and it shot a perfect bolt hole right off the bat. So that's always a good sign to me that it's going to be a really user friendly and really forgiving bow. And, uh, and that's definitely an A-plus that tunes up very, very easy. Another cool feature that you'll see continuing on this one is the offset stabilizer to help balance the weight out when you have a quiver or just the weight of your sight and arrow rest as well. It's going to keep the bow from feeling like it's going to tip one direction or another. That bow, even at 70 pounds, comes in drawing really, really smooth. And of course, just like most Hoyt models, it has a really good solid back wall. So you know that you're there, you know you're up against it. But this one doesn't seem to have the feel like it's going to lurch forward on you if you relax just a little bit. So it's a really good feel. And uh, aiming wise, it tends to hold really steady, which is nice as well. I've just got a 10 and a half inch doinker on here with only one and a half ounces of weight on the front. And uh, so far it holds really, really good. So that's also a good sign in my opinion. So after shooting that thing uh, quite a bit here, I definitely would give this thing a pass. You know, a lot of the features I really, really like on it are definitely a winner. I like the new air shock system. It's, it's different, it's unique for sure. I, uh, I like the way it works. The bow's quiet, it's very smooth. This is probably one of the smoother bows that I've ever shot from Hoyt. Um, so that's a good feature that I like. I like the draw on this bow. Uh, even though it's an RKT cam, it does feel like it draws a little bit smoother still shooting good speed so that's good at 330 feet per second IBO. I really like the lightened up 3.8 pounds of the riser. Um, as far as negatives I really wouldn't fault this bow anywhere. I would have liked to see maybe a change with the string stop here but uh, other than that I mean the thing shoots great and I would highly recommend that you go out and shoot one whether you're the guy that looks at it and says oh it's just you know another version of last year's and while it is they have made some good key changes and I think they're good positive ones and I think uh, anybody who shoots this, whether you own last year's bow or not, is going to like this one. You're probably going to want one. So um, give that thing a shot, man. It shoots nice, but uh, my reviews say it's a good bow and you should give it a try.